Hi everyone, thank you for watching. So, in today's video, we will be learning the five ball multiplex. This looks a little something like this. It's a relatively simple five ball trick. It's uh, much easier than the cascade itself. So hopefully it won't take too long to learn it. Towards the end of the video, I'm also gonna show you a five ball bonus trick. This looks a little something like this. And it's basically an add-on to the multiplex. Anyway, first things first, let's do step one, the basic multiplex throw. Just take two balls. To release the multiplex throw, all you're gonna have to learn is how to throw the top ball high and the bottom ball low. To do this, take two balls in your normal two balls in one hand grip, and then all we're gonna do is try and throw this top ball. To do this, simply release your fingers, throw the ball, allow it to roll up those two fingers like a track and just flick right up into the air, so like that. So this is probably easy for you, because uh, this is just a one ball throw. So, at the moment, we're gripping the bottom ball as we do that throw. So, otherwise it would fall out of our hand. What we're gonna do to do the multiplex is simply open your bottom fingers and allow the bottom ball to come up. So, I'm gonna do that now, like that. I'm not doing anything extra, I'm just doing this throw, and then I'm opening my bottom fingers. As you can see, the bottom ball just comes up a tiny little bit. That's okay, that's actually what we want at the moment. So, once you have the basic idea of the multiplex down, all you're gonna have to do is instead of flicking this top ball straight up like this, you're gonna have to flick it across, so like that. So, just practice that throw with the two balls going up. So, opening your hand so the bottom ball just goes up a tiny bit, but this time the top ball is going over to the other side, like that. Try it on both sides, so exactly the same. So repeat this step until you're comfortable with that throw. If you can't do this throw, then you're gonna struggle with the pattern, but once you can do this throw, the rest of it should come relatively easy. Step two, take three balls. So now, we're simply gonna do one initial throw. So the hand that has one ball in, you're gonna simply throw it. Before you catch it, you're gonna to have to throw these two balls up, make space to catch the ball that is incoming. So simply throwing this first ball, then throwing up the multiplex, making space, catching the first ball, catching the second ball, catching the top ball, the multiplex. Up, like this. Try that from both sides. So once you're comfortable with that, take four balls. Now, the only difference between this and the previous step is that both throws are multiplexes. So instead of just throwing one individual ball for the first throw, that is still gonna be the same throw, but instead of just one ball, it is two balls, it's the multiplex. So it's like that. This top one will be the individual ball from the previous step and the bottom ball of the multiplex simply just gonna go like that. So, exactly the same, otherwise, you're gonna throw that one just before that top ball is coming down, you're gonna throw these two up, open the hand, catch that top one, catch the bottom one, the multiplex, etc. So, multiplex, 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 multiplex. Starting from the other side also, multiplex, multiplex. Multiplex, 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 multiplex. If you're comfortable with all the stages so far, then you're on pretty much the final stage. 
take five balls. Now, all we're gonna do is put the two previous steps together. So, you're gonna start off with a single ball, and that one is gonna come from the hand with three balls in. So, first row is just up and across. From there, the multiplexes start. So, as that first ball is incoming, before it lands, you're gonna throw your first multiplex and then just go into the pattern. Let's just do the first individual ball, the first multiplex. So individual, multiplex. This is exactly the same as the second step. So now we're gonna do that plus the second multiplex. So steps one, step two, put together, just going up, up, catch, start again from the other side. Once you've done a bunch of these, simply add one multiplex at a time. From this point, it's just another multiplex, another multiplex, and then you can build up like this. One little tip with the throws, you don't always have to go either outside or inside of the incoming ball. So what I mean is you throw that first ball and then you're going to do a multiplex. See how that was clearly inside the previous ball. So the first one is coming here and I throw inside. But if you're struggling in a pattern and you can't always get that perfect inside throw, you can compensate by going either forward or backwards. So instead of just inside the incoming ball, you can go slightly in front or slightly behind. Usually I probably would go in front, but these are all just other ways for you to uh, have extra control over your throws. To go from the multiplex back into a cascade, all you need to do is as the multiplex is up in the air, so like this, you're gonna start the five ball cascade from the other hand. So if I just threw the multiplex from my left, they're gonna be split here, and then I'm gonna start the first throw, my five ball cascade from my right hand. So multiplex, one, two, three, four, five. So, one, two, three, four, five. So the two balls that you threw from the multiplex will be ball number four and ball number five in your first five throws of your five ball cascade. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Showing you that in the pattern. One, two, three, four, five. So the last two throws of the five throws of the five ball cascade were the two throws from that last multiplex. Also, a way to get from the cascade into the multiplex, all you have to do is simply collect two balls. So you're juggling normal five, and then you're gonna collect two. You're gonna throw the first multiplex from the hand that would catch the last ball. So you're gonna go juggle, 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 collect two. There's still one ball in the air, it's coming down, and then they're gonna start the first two throws from that hand. So, juggle, 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 collect two, one, two, three, four, like this. Simply collecting two and then starting the multiplex just before the final ball lands. So, now you've mastered the five ball multiplex, let's move on to a little bonus trick. This is essentially the same as the multiplex, but it has one extra throw. So, all you're gonna do, first, put two balls down. We're gonna practice this simply by doing that first exercise that we already did. So throw one individual ball, then throw the multiplex up like this. Now, the only difference is before you catch that bottom ball of the multiplex, you're gonna throw another one just straight up. So the path of that first ball is gonna go up, catch, up, catch. So it's gonna go up, 
catch a catch a catch a catch so you can see there's one throw just like this around the bottom ball of the multiplex i'll show you on the other side also a catch a like this a catch a so you can just keep running it just on one side like that to get used to it and then once you've done it enough on that side, try it on the other. Other than that, it's just one extra throw on top of the step that we've already done for the normal multiplex pattern. Next, let's take four balls. Now the same thing, we're gonna start off with a multiplex, then we're gonna do another multiplex. We're gonna finish it off with that final throw, okay? So multiplex normal at first, Normal, normal, last throw. Normal, normal, last throw. Normal, normal, last throw. So what we've just done, what we've just done, last throw. Just done, just done, extra. Try that on both sides. When you're ready, let's take five balls. So this pattern just starts off exactly like the normal multiplex. A normal individual throw, and then we're gonna start multiplex. Then after that first multiplex, we can do the extra throw and we can just continue like that. We can do multiplex, extra throw, multiplex, extra throw, and it keeps going. So normal, start. This pattern is slightly quicker than the other one. So if you can try and do it with a little bit more height, throw the balls a bit higher and you might find it easier to start off with. Final little tip, if you're really struggling getting the top ball of the multiplex high, then just imagine a few different cues that you can use. So the first one, you can think of flicking the wrist up like that. You can get a ball really high just by flicking the wrist. Second cue is the train track method. So putting the ball on your two fingers and then just allowing it to roll up off them like that. You should, obviously I'm still flicking the wrist a little bit, but I'm more thinking flick to allow the ball to roll up like that, as opposed to just flicking the wrist like that. Now, flicking the wrist with the fingers, similar thing, but these are just cues that you can use in your head to think about. And then what if you have that in your head as you're doing the movement, it may help. The last one is to do it with your arm. So it's not just the wrist, it's the whole arm. Remember I said that is a really useful thing to do for the bottom ball, because that can help the bottom ball go higher without jeopardizing the pathway of the top ball. So just keep those things in mind. And if one of them doesn't work, maybe think about another one. Just experiment how they work for you, because maybe one cue will help one person in a different way than it will help another person. So think about them all if you're struggling in that area. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments. If you have a tutorial request or any questions about this tutorial, please leave me a comment. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel for more stuff like this. More tutorials, more circus videos. Thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Yeah. 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 Ye